good if all you say is I receive it. Say something. I make this a short. I no, no, no. This is beautiful. How I was blessed Monday night. And yes, yes, yes. God yes. gives me dreams. He really does. And uh, it's almost, as I said, almost too precious to tell. But there was a crowd of people, and we were at the house where we did live, where Keisha's kids live now. And I uh, kept hearing this noise, and it was like a, I can't even explain it. It's just like a drum roll or something. It just got louder and louder. And, and this was in my dream now. And even in my dream, I thought, what in the world did you do? And it was so loud. And then, and then it was, sky had been perfectly blue. And all at once, lightning started. And it means light was tremendous, just brilliant. And I even made a comment, you know, the storm couldn't have come up this quickly. And I looked, when I looked up, and let me tell you, I've looked up a lot since Monday night when I had <laughs> I looked up and there was Jesus. I've never had this happen to me. Y'all may have, but I've never had it. I got to look you in the face and tell you about it. There was Jesus. And, you know, he wasn't like, maybe I had always pictured him just hands out like this, flowing, you know, white. He was in the air. But he had a white on. But he had a, like, a sash that came all the way down and it was wine cold. And somebody said, it's Jesus. And I was already trying to get out it's, and I couldn't get out Jesus. I was trying, you know how, have you ever done that in a dream? You try to get it out and you cannot. And I was astonished that that was, it was Jesus. But he was turned, sort of sideways, not sideways, but sort of turned, and like he was looking at me. One hand was up like this, and one like this, like he, I told you I was coming. It was so plain and so real. But that's all I have thought about. I have never had that vision of Jesus and seeing him like that in the air. But I saw it. He knew I needed something. He knew I needed that. Yes, yes, yes. And it was tremendous. I, I just wish I could draw a picture of what I saw. Because I saw Jesus. Yes, you did. No doubt in my mind that yes. I did not. See, yes, you did. And as Megan brought up in the book of Revelation, it, it talks about Jesus with his vesture, that's his clothing, dipped in blood. Now, I don't know if that's what she saw with that wine colored sash. I don't know, but she she saw Jesus. I believe that. Don't be finite minded. That that you can't see him. And I mean, literally, in this room. Angelic visitations. Jesus visitations. Don't don't discount that. We're going to have things like this happen. The very night that that happened to her, maybe about the same time, we were. I was blown away when she told me when it happened because I had written in my journal when you gave me years ago and said, write down what he tells you. He said to me, I will appear to you. Well, I opened my eyes right then. I was looking. Oh, five minutes, I sat there looking. Because he said, I heard it that clearly. I will appear to you. Well, nothing happened. And then I realized, well, you didn't say right now, did you? You just told me to be expecting. About the same time, she saw him in that dream. Expect these things. Also, when you told me that you heard that, my natural, and I don't even know why it would have been, but my natural instinct when you said, you know, I will appear to you, I took it as, I will appear to you. Yeah, I always... Like, all of us. Like, that's how, like, it hit me, like, you know, and the, not that it's just, you know, he appeared to Grandma and I pay it's over, but just, like, I will be appearing to you. Like, you all, like, be ready. That, that's what hit me. That is my 